Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2024 action film, Lights Out. The film is directed by Christian Sesma and it stars Frank Grillo, Dermot Mulroney, uh, we have Mekki Fifa, Jamie King and Scott Atkins. Now the film focuses on Frank Grillo's character, Duffy, who is, um, he used to be in the military, we see that throughout the film in flashbacks, he served with Scott Atkins' character, and he's pretty much suffering with PTSD. He's back in the States, he's kind of drifting, um, and this one guy, uh, Max, spots him getting into a bar fight, he sees he's got skills. So he sits him down, buys him breakfast and says, look, you know, I've got an outlet for you street fighting basically uh, it's pretty reluctant at first um frank grillo's character but he decides to take part in a few street fights however these fights are run by dermot mulroney and a group of corrupt cops uh, which eventually leads him um into a head-on collision with the corrupt cops in order to stay alive right what are my thoughts on lights out well, when you first start watching this film, it's hard not to compare this to um, Absent Without Leave, you know, the Van Damme film that certainly in the UK is known as AWOL. I know it's got a few different names all over the all over the place. Um, and the comparisons are very, very clear here and there in this film. Um, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, personally... If I had to choose my favourite Van Damme film, and I have because I've done a top ten list on the channel a few years ago, it'd probably be AWOL, and I think I'd put AWOL at my number one. It's a great film. Now, this is a good film. It's very watchable. The fight scenes are cool. Um, Frank Grillo, as we know, and I have been saying this for a number of years on this channel, it frustrates me when Frank Grillo takes small parts in low-budget films. Um, he's better than that, in my opinion. He's a leading man, and if he's not going to be a Hollywood leading man, you know, he should be a leading man in movies like this. So um, I'm glad to see him as the leading man here. Um, we all know um, he can, you know, he knows how to fight, you know, and if you know anything about Frank Grillo, you'll know that. Um, he's got moves, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, he's the perfect fit for the leading role here. Um, and then you've got. Becky Pfeiffer's character, Max, who is like um, the guy that he meets and sort of puts him up into the street fighting stuff. And they get really close and get in and Frank Grillo gets in with his family. Um, you know, so you, you've got all that whole connection thing going on. And then probably, you know, you get you get like the sequences of, you know, him interacting with the family. You know, you see the dodgy fight promoter, the dodgy police, and then he will do, you know, an occasional fight, you know, get introduced, you know, um, to a fight. However, you know, one of these fighters is part of these corrupt cops and he ends up getting killed and then things really starts turning sinister. So about 70% into the film, shall we say, it, it, it kind of turns and shifts direction, this film. You think this is going to be one of those typical you know, fight films where he's going to work his way up to the top guy and then have a big fight. No, it doesn't It doesn't give you that, this film. It tries to give you something different. Now, what it tries to give you is what I think is kind of what lets the film down a bit because it's quite a generic shootout ending and it, it doesn't feel in tune with the rest of the film. Um, it, it just doesn't really suit it. And then we've got Scott Atkins. Um, now Scott Atkins, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm quite a fan of Scott Atkins. He's in this film in a frustrating role, in my opinion, because he's barely in the film. Um, and his part is almost the kind of role that frustrates me that Frank Grillo used to play, you know, a, a small part in a movie when he's better than that. In my opinion, Scott Atkins is better than that in this film. Um, he's not in it enough and it, it, when I first saw that Scott Atkins was part of the cast sort of thing, I thought he was going to be like the fighter that he was going to end up fighting at the end because they knew each other from the military. We're going to set it up like that. No, it don't work out like that at all. Uh, something completely different and something completely predictable as well and, and fairly generic. So, you know, the 
once this particular thing happens in the film, you know, when this fighter dies, it, it takes a whole new direction and it gets a bit silly and action orientated and, you know, completely different than what the film was earlier. So, uh, but it, uh, it's not done badly and it's not, you know, um, the action scenes at the end with the gunplay and all this kind of stuff. Like I say, it isn't done badly. It just doesn't feel like it belongs in the film to, to a large degree. And it feels like they've gone overboard. Um, and then you've got Jamie King. Now, I've seen Jamie King in a few budgety stuff over the last few years. And she plays like the head of the corrupt cops. Um, and I didn't buy her role, really, her performance. Um she just kind of stands around smoking cigarettes and shoots the odd person and you know she it it doesn't feel like these these corrupt cops would get away with you know a quarter of this stuff that they were getting away with in this film just it feels a little bit silly and it almost feels like forced you know that they were going to go down this route and you know i think it probably would have been better if they'd have you know stayed on the different route because the film just kind of turns very generic by the end. But um, while it's not exactly the film I wanted or hoped for, what you get is a well-made, um, you know, action film with really nicely choreographed fights. Even if they don't really go on long enough, I would have liked to have seen a few more fights and maybe a bit longer sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it's nicely choreographed with some interesting fights. Uh, the the gunplay and stuff is all done well. All the action side of it's done well. All the performances are fine. And like I say, Frank Grillo, who I, th who I think makes a great lead in movies like this, carries the film very, very well. Um, it's just, I don't know, the, the, there's a slight tinge of disappointment in me when I watch this film. Um, but that could be more me than the film, I suppose, because it's not exactly what I wanted. But yeah, I think fans of Frank Grillo, fans, maybe not fans of Scott Atkins because he's not in it enough, you will probably, you know, get a good level of enjoyment out of, the, out of this film because it's, it, you know, it's a well produced film. The uh, production values of a really strong standard for a movie like this. And I was certainly never bored watching it by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah, uh, Lights Out is definitely worth checking out. If, it, if it's the sort of action film that you think you may enjoy, then you probably will. So thank you very much for joining me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I will, of course, be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.